A local restaurant has been serving loyal Colorado patrons for the last 80 years. Alex Shavakilian has the story. Colorado's higher education funding that was intended to allow legislators to tie performance to support passed out of the House Monday with more control back in the hands of the educators. It has been 15 years since the tragedy of the Columbine High School massacre where 12 students and one teacher were fatally gunned down by Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold before taking their own lives. Chicago law enforcement is blaming a series of gang-related conflicts for an escalation of shootings over Easter weekend. A suspected U.S. drone strike in southern Yemen killed 55 militants Monday in the third deadly attack on an al-Qaeda training camp in the area in several days. The Colorado Rockies have won 10 of their last 14 games and currently sit in one game out of first place. They faced off against the Giants tonight as Franklin Morales took the mound against Madison Bumgarner. Troy Tulowitzki has gotten off to an MVP start as Nolan Arenado goes Yatso off Madison Bumgarner to give the Colorado Rockies a 2-1 lead. That was all. No more was needed as the Rockies would hold on to win the game 2-1 and improve their season record to 18-13. Silver said that no one person is above the league and offered up hope to fans of the Clippers, placing his faith in head coach Doc Rivers. My mess in their lives. He urged the other 29 owners in the league to vote on whether Sterling should be forced to sell the team, needing a three-quarters majority to make him sell it. If the team goes for sale, it may fetch up to $1.5 billion. Coming up after the break, Jason Warren will let us know if this nice weather is going to continue. You're watching 7 News at 10. R&B singer Chris Brown is going to have to wait months before he can finally learn his fate. According to reports, Brown may have to sit tight until next fall before his trial begins. Welcome back to Channel 7. Scientists have discovered a surprising number of microbes living on cash in the first study of the DNA on dollar bills. Researchers at NYU's Dirty Money Project analyzed genetic material on one dollar bills and identified 3,000 types of bacteria. What an incredible story. I mean, just a place for children to get away and enjoy themselves. I, I really think I know some children who would really enjoy, you know, getting to Gold Crown and getting to McGregor Field.